What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're taking the Les Paul with 10 gauge strings and moving up to 11 gauge strings. Let's go. So here is the Gibson Les Paul strung up normally with 10s. Let's see how it sounds. Now let's restring with 11 gauge top wrap. All right guys, we're at my desk. Got a towel for the body of the Les Paul and a Strymon timeline box, empty of course, for the neck and headstock. We're gonna take off these 10 gauge strings and put on these Diodario 11 gauge strings top wrapped. So what that'll do is make it a little more slinky and make these 11s feel like 10 and a half. So I'll see you guys once the guitar has no strings on it. So, guitar has no strings, strings are actually right here. But before I move on, I want to condition the fretboard with this Dunlop 65 Ultimate Lemon Oil. I use this all the time, I love it, and a little goes a long way, so let's do that. All right, so now we have a camera angle change, hi. And the main part of this video, which is restringing with 11s and by top wrapping. So the first thing I do in top wrapping after moving the strings, no, is I remove the ball end of the string. Do that for all the strings and we'll come back to step number two. So now what we have left over are these six ball ends. Let's move on to step number two. Step number three is quite simple. Take your flathead screwdriver and screw the tail piece so it's flush against the body on both sides. Let's move on to stringing the guitar. So now it's time to restring the guitar. Take your low E string, in this case, grab the ball end, and slide it through to the very end of the string. Once complete, it should look something like this. Do this to all six strings. So here we have the final product. Let's start restringing. So bam, there we go. 11's top wrapped on the Les Paul. It almost makes the 11s feel like 10 and a half, like I said previously. And this method in particular, I uh, got from Joe Bonamassa, who got from Zach Wild, Jimmy Page, and Billy Gibbons, who do the exact same thing on their Les Pauls. I really like it. In January, I had 11s on my Les Paul, until about February. Then I came back to 10s. And now, because I play so often, I want a little more resistance, so we're back to 11s top wrapped. So let's see how it sounds. So here we have the Les Paul with 11 gauge strings top wrapped. Let's see how it sounds. That's today's video. We took the Les Paul from 10 gauge strings to 11 gauge strings top wrapped. As you heard, as you can see right now, the guitar looks and sounds great. I do think though, I will need a couple more days to get used to the increased tension, but that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted the strings to feel tighter and with 11's top wrapped, that was accomplished. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and press subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.